I wanted to ask you if it's true that 10,000 years ago, the Great Pyramid in Giza was used to harness free energy and every household in Egypt had electricity. No, not every household in Egypt had electricity. The Great Pyramid 10,500 years ago can be used to harness energy and convert it into electrical current, but that was usually mostly used by the priesthood and the pharaohs and the kings. It wasn't distributed in the way that you think. In Atlantean times, more like 20,000 years ago, the idea was that they knew how to create crystals to vibrate in certain ways, that there would be sympathetic vibrations in the crystals distributed throughout the community, and therefore in that sense they were able to have light and other forms of energy in the different households. But that's not exactly electricity as you understand it, although electric current to some degree, or electrons, as an electron field more specifically, was involved in that. It was an attempt to recreate that to some degree with the Giza pyramid, but it was relatively limited because the idea initially of some of that knowledge had been lost and the ability to recreate some of those crystals was also lost. So it was a lower form of that idea that produced an electron field to some degree, but its use was limited and not capable of being spread very far. I see. And how close was Nikola Tesla to rediscovering free energy? He absolutely yeah. discovered it. It's just that the information was suppressed. And which present day countries would be most receptive to implementing free energy? Japan. Japan. And why yes. is that? Because they already have the idea of a collective work ethic that would allow them to focus on it as a project in much the same way that your United States focused on the idea of the space race in going to the moon. 